Greetings and welcome to episode 1 of the SNAP tutorial series. SNAP is a visual programming language which utilizes blocks and abstractions to provide a platform on which new coders can code. In this series, Alvin, Niazi, and I, Daniel, will be teaching the fundamentals of SNAP. A disclaimer to our viewers, this is a non-profit series and anything that is used in this series is not used for money making purposes and is thus strictly educational. Anyways, let's begin. Today we will be breaking down the user interface and explaining where everything is located. To start coding with Snap, you should first create an account and you would do that by going to the sign up right here. Once you have that, you can look at the scripts page. This is the scripts page right here. Here is where the majority of your code will be when you are coding. Scripts are inside of sprites, which is a sprite right here, which are program programmable entities that appear on your stage or your canvas. If you want to create a new sprite, click create sprite. It's pretty easy, create sprites right here and it would just make a new sprite like that. If you want to change the name of the sprite or make it undraggable, you use the mouse and you go up here, unselect that, and then you can type in whatever you want. For your sprites, you can make costumes in the costume tab. Costume tab is right here. This is for every single sprite there is. You can also use the basic snap costumes if you click on the bent piece of taper at the top left and then click costumes here are all the basics costumes that they have that are preloaded into snap in case you don't want to use your own picture okay if you wish to change the background of a stage you click stage and then you click backgrounds stage right here and you click backgrounds for both the stage and the sprites you can import photos or use the draw tool so you can you can either drag a picture into here or you can use a draw tool right here and draw whatever you want in snap you can also import your own sounds or use your microphone to make your own sound that's pretty cool so you could do it in both the background and the sprite. To import a sound, it's very easy. You can do one of two things. You can uh, simply drag the sound file in that you want to import, or you can use your microphone by clicking this and recording it. You just click record, you say whatever it is you want, and click then you record, can, you, you can say play whatever it is you want. What's important to know about sounds is you need to make sure where your sound is, where your sound file is, because if your sound file is in one of these sprites and you can't find it, that would be a problem for when you're trying to reference or call on that sound. Alright, next, on the top left, you could see the search bar along with all the categories that contain blocks. Feel free to look around there whenever you want, these are the categories, and use a search bar if you forgot where a block is. Let's say you forgot... Uh, let's say you forgot the ask block you can do ask right here or ask right here you don't have to manually search through everything to find it which is very nice if you want to change the language of snap your microphone resolution the stage size or the size of your blocks you click this little gear at the top and here they are all four of them you can change you can do whatever you want with those up to however you do it don't worry about anything below here for now. We'll cover that in later videos once uh, we make them. If you want to import user libraries or collections of code created by users for a specific task, you can click on the paper right here and then click on libraries. We will cover this in a future video. Do not worry. Also, importing more blocks to help you achieve a task can be achieved by clicking the piece of paper and clicking import and then you can import whatever you want here. Finally, after you make your first project, you want to save it, right? That's pretty easy. You simply 
click at the folded piece of paper at the top right here and you click save as since you have to log in so that's why it's saying you are not logged in so let me log in and I'll be right back I am now logged in and it's very 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 easy all you have to do is type in the name of your project and you click save that's it if you want somebody to access your project without having to send them the physical code you can just click save as and then you click on your project and you click share you click are you sure you want to share hello you click yes once hello is shared you could simply click on the link and copy and paste it and send it to anyone that you want to have it note they cannot edit your project only you can do that if they, someone has your link do not worry they can not edit your project physically meaning that it will change on your computer as well if you want to save your project on your computer physically you can click export project in the bent piece of paper right here you can also click export summary which exports a summary of your code that's it thank you for watching the first episode of uh, our students teach snap tutorial